All right, y'all, good morning. It's uh, November the 3rd, I think, something like that. November the 3rd, November the 4th, or something. Uh, I'm gonna go back to where I saw all those deer at a couple days ago this past weekend. Not the exact spot. I'm going actually into my main area in this whole little track that I call the danger zone. Last year, this was the first place I started seeing a lot of scrapes open up um, I know there's bucks in here I have yet to kill a buck in here uh, but I've seen them a lot I've seen a lot of bucks in this area I got a wind coming kind of out of the southeast which is not uh, awesome as far as temperature but it is cold this morning so um, I think the warm front is about to push through the cold front that has been here for about three days or so four days and it's been super cold and I have not got to hunt in the morning so I'm gonna come in right here at the tail end and uh, see if see if we can't find a buck that's on his feet it's just now four o'clock and the sun's gonna start coming up here in about an hour and a half so I need to hurry up but I do want to take it a little bit slow on the water because it is super foggy anyways I'm excited about today first time I've gotten a hunt in uh, the morning and since Saturday so we'll see what we can do and um, yeah y'all stay tuned
just had a buck behind me. I don't know which way he was going or if he was coming up here or what. <clears throat> but he caught my wind before I even knew it was there. And he blew like really deep. I never got a look at him, but it was heavy footsteps. He's still blowing over there. Maybe it's a doe. I don't know. That blow doesn't sound like a doe. It sounds like a buck. sucks. Hello? I just shot a buck. <laughs> oh my god. How big is he? He's decent. <laughs> I just looked up and he was freaking right in front of me. Man, that spot. That is a spot. He's a decent little eight point. Oh man. And uh, I missed him. I missed him the first shot. And he just stopped and let me knock another arrow and it was a quarter two, quarter two I went through the shoulder, but he looked like he was hit hard and I think he went down.
deer out here in front of me. Like six of them. I think I've seen six since I shot. All those. But holy crap. There's one just standing right here right now. That was crazy. So basically what happened. I was freaking looking at the election results on my phone. And, uh, I mean, it's getting fairly late in the morning. And I should have known the birds were going crazy in here. And uh, I had had, a, had that deer blow back behind me and bust out of here. And blew for a long time. And about 15 minutes later, I'm looking at my phone, just kind of not really paying much attention. And uh, bird, birds are all going nuts. I look up, and that buck is standing right here at 35 yards, right here in the opening, but he's in the shadows, so I couldn't, he just popped out, I wasn't paying attention, honestly, it was a big no-no, but, um, so I'm like fumbling around trying to get the camera turned on, hopefully I even hit record, I still don't know if I did or not, I'm pretty sure I did, but trying to get everything turned on and get rid of my phone and my freaking pockets are zipped over here and so I couldn't get it so I had to put it in my bag and he's walking he's making a scrape and rubbing his antlers on a licking branch or something it looks like and uh, I just wasn't paying attention and so I was trying to get rid of my phone and I was going to try to zoom in on him and everything but he started walking and so I just left the camera zoomed out and let it go and I uh, couldn't even really get a range on exactly where he was at I have a tree marked at 40 so I shot him for 40 and I just wasn't thinking clearly and I shot over his back <sighs> lucky for me he stopped right where I first saw him at he ran a few steps and stopped and looked and I had time to get another arrow knocked and I ranged him like three times right then and uh it was ranging at 36 yards where he was standing at, so he's getting, he's real spooky, he's trying to like, he's pulling his nose up, trying to get, catch whatever scent it was to make sure it's not danger, and uh, he walked a little bit closer and I shot him with my 30 yard pin, and I hit him, I think I hit him perfect, it was quarter two, I think I hit him right through that front part, and he was hurting I think he died just right over here so it was definitely passed through and he looked like he was hurting pretty dang good and when he ran off I'm pretty sure I saw blood going down his opposite side a little further behind the shoulder behind the opposite shoulder so it should be a perfect shot I've given him about probably 35 or 45 minutes um, I think I heard him crash over here not very far. Golly, she's right here. Look at this. Anyway, I'm gonna get down and go check out my arrow because I'm gonna have a long, uh, a long little drag out of here when we find him. Especially if he died where I think he did, which is great. We may end up packing him out. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how good of a buck he is. Really, he looked, he, he was one of those that I thought, yeah, I'll shoot him. He's not huge, I know he's not gigantic, but he's, he's okay, you know, he's a decent little buck. So, second buck tag, second buck tag, hopefully. He's dead. Not bad.
bad. Need to find his. I think he ran. Pretty sure he ran back that way. We'll look for blood and see if we can find some. That's what I'm freaking talking about. That shot right there. That was coming out. Other side. Hey! <laughs> That's fun. We finally have a <laughs> public land buck on the ground this year. The first buck tag I used on private land last weekend. The last three days we've been in a cold front. I have not hunted pretty much at all during the cold front. Like, well, I haven't actually hunted. I hung a trail camera one evening, but I haven't hunted. It's kind of been, I mean, my choice, really. I shot that buck last weekend. Um, I like to keep, you know, a buck tag or two for, uh, for the rut out here in December. But, I mean, <laughs> this morning was a perfect morning for that spot I have never killed a buck in this area I've seen more deer in here than I've ever seen anywhere else on probably public or private land um, I just see so many stinking deer a few days ago I saw 22 does in here and a small buck um, in one morning all within about an hour and a half so there's a ton of deer in here missed the first shot but hit him on that second shot and you can see that entry right there um, on a quarter two shot hard quarter two shot um, it wasn't it, it was it was hard quarter two but I have a lot of confidence in my arrow setup and uh, using the VPA 175 grain broadheads and it passed all the way through went through that front shoulder and passed out behind the back shoulder so I'm uh, I'm very pleased with it I'm super excited this just um, confirms a couple things to me number one three days after a cold front can be one of the best days of that front three days before and three days after for whatever reason it can be just some of the best deer hunting that you can imagine even though the cold fronts pushed through this pretty much this morning I mean it's chilly but it's not it's not cold by any means not like it has been the, the last couple days even though that is the case for whatever reason it just seems like that third day after the front hits is uh, pretty solid another thing is it's a Wednesday and Wednesdays are almost all of my bucks have been killed on Wednesdays on public land so you can call that coincidence maybe I just hunt a lot of Wednesday mornings um, but I think a lot of it has to do with the amount of pressure that actually happens on public over the weekend and by Wednesday it's kind of cooled off and the deer are kind of back to normal I'm excited I've got a long drag ahead of me and I've been procrastinating it over here for like an hour just been sitting here looking at him and uh, texting people and letting people know about it, but we do need to get out of here. And uh, it's a great day for a, a, a run on the drone, so I'm excited about that. Maybe we'll get some cool, cool drone footage today. Buck tag number two in Alabama for the 2020 season. And I couldn't be happier. I'm jacked up. 
I'm jacked up. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this beautiful B-roll footage. Thank you.